Herbicides. They can be an effective tool in managing weeds, but when they show up in your garden, it can be very frustrating. This is the first of a three-part series where we will answer common questions such as how herbicides get into the garden, what do the symptoms of herbicide injury look like, and what to do if you find herbicide residuals. Welcome to the Growing Zone. We're going to explore four scenarios designed to help gardeners understand how herbicides can end up in their garden. First, we'll look at lawn debris used as mulch or compost. Secondly, we'll explore herbicidal drift. And finally, we'll discuss potentially contaminated topsoil and livestock manure. A common summer chore is mowing the lawn, and all gardeners recognize the benefit of saving grass clippings and other yard debris. They provide an excellent source of nitrogen and other nutrients for the compost bin or as a mulch around plants. But many homeowners forget about that herbicide they sprayed several weeks or months ago. Herbicides residual activity is important to keep weeds at bay, but can remain in the grass for several weeks after an application. Be sure to read the labels of the herbicides you use to see how long and how many mowings you should wait before the herbicide in the grass clippings are no longer present. If someone is offering their yard debris for the compost bin, be sure to ask if herbicides have been used, and if so, when was the last application. And remember, those weed and feed products contain fertilizers and herbicides. At times, homeowners and their neighbors spray herbicides during windy conditions, causing unintentional drift of herbicide into the garden or garden area. Symptoms of drift injury on your plants will typically be different from the symptoms you would see if the herbicide were in the soil. We will discuss symptoms of herbicide injury more in depth during later episodes. However, here are some key things to help prevent drift of herbicides into your garden. First, be cognizant of spraying herbicides around the garden. Second, do not apply herbicides when wind speeds exceed 10 miles per hour. And finally, Talk to your neighbors and make sure they are aware of the risk of drift damaging your plants. Herbicides such as these are commonly used to control noxious weeds in pastures and rangeland. These herbicides are highly effective because of their extended residual activity in the soil, which prevent weed growth, thereby reducing the need for repeat applications over several years. But our landscape is constantly changing. What is a horse pasture today could easily be a home site tomorrow. These herbicides can still be present in the soil from an application a year or more ago. This topsoil could also end up for sale at your local garden, center, or nursery. So in bringing topsoil into your home garden, be cautious. In episode 3, we will discuss these cautionary measures and things consumers should do before unintentionally allowing herbicides in. Manure is a common and effective way to compost and provides necessary nutrients to garden soil and plants. But as we discussed, herbicides are frequently used to control noxious weeds in pastures, with some herbicides persisting in plant tissue for a long period of time. Livestock grazing in the treated areas of pasture will consume vegetation that may still have traces of herbicides in the plants. The herbicides will remain active even after it passes through the animal, ending up in the manure. If you are using manure for your garden, your best defense is to ask questions about the likelihood of herbicide application in the pasture where the livestock were grazing. Herbicides are an effective tool to use when managing weeds, especially noxious weeds. But they can find their way into your garden in a number of different ways. It is important that you respect herbicides, read and follow the entire label, and ask questions. Be sure to catch episode 2 where we will discuss how to diagnose herbicide damage and episode 3 on what to do if herbicides are found in your garden as well as future prevention techniques. Mm -hmm.